In this video, we'll look at the structure for CO2. This is carbon dioxide. The first thing we'll look at is what type of compound we have. So if we look at the periodic table organized into metals, metalloids, and nonmetals, we see carbon is right here. So carbon's a nonmetal, oxygen right next to it over there, nonmetal. When we have nonmetals together, we have what's called a covalent or molecular compound. So when we write the structure for CO2, we're going to have covalent bonds. That means the electrons will be shared between atoms. So let's just put our carbon in the center. When we draw structures, Lewis structures, we put the least electronegative element in the center. That's the carbon. Put the oxygens on either side. So this is a good start. Next, we would count the valence electrons up for CO2, put them between atoms. So this would be our chemical bond here between the carbons and oxygens. So if we went through and drew the Lewis structure for this, we'd end up with this here. If you need help writing the Lewis structure for CO2, there's a link to a video in the description of this video for how to do that. So we have our Lewis structure, and we can see that oxygen, that has eight valence electrons. It has an octet, same over here. Those are symmetrical. And the carbon in the middle, that has eight valence electrons as well. So these double bonds allow us to complete the octets for each of the atoms. If you calculate the formal charges, this is the best or most likely Lewis structure for carbon dioxide. If we wanted to look at the molecular structure or the molecular shape, molecular geometry for CO2, we'd note that the oxygens on either side, they're going to push away from each other. So we would expect that just like we've drawn it here, we'd have a linear molecular geometry. Let's take a look at that, though. So the purple, that'll be our central carbon. Let's add our oxygen atoms. They're double bonded, so there's one. And when we add the other one, watch how they push away from each other. They spread out and we end up with this bond angle of 180 degrees. So the molecular geometry is going to be linear. And the lone pairs we have in our Lewis structure, they don't show up here on the oxygens, but they really don't matter because they're on either side. So that's our molecular geometry for CO2. Our electron geometry, that'd be the same since there's no lone pairs on the central carbon. Back to our Lewis structure. So this is the molecular structure for our CO2 molecule, our carbon dioxide molecule. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.